Boruto episode 25 was amazing. Now, the animation was a little off, and the episode felt very slow. But besides for that, I loved it, and let me tell you why. First of all, the idea of a field trip is only furthering what Bakage talked about in last week's episode regarding the fact that these kids are not up to par. They're not very good. Alright, listen to me. If these kids can go on field trips to the other villages, something is wrong. Because that means there is no danger in the Naruto world at all great enough to make this a concern. Alright, another thing I liked. Tremendously enjoyed the character interaction. Dorada was a little bitchy in this episode, but when is Dorada not kind of bitchy? Like, when is that not a thing that she does? Yeah, Dorada was bitchy because Dorada's a bitch. And, uh, what else? Um, well, and she's a bitch, but she's a likable bitch. I really liked Dorada. She was a little bitchy this week's episode. I did really like the joke where, uh, she, she came up with a plan to make Boruto a class, a class leader because she's afraid he'll mess things up. I love that. That was great. Um, I really like that they're making Boruto and Dorada interact more. I like that. Then they're going to end up being teammates and there was a severe lack of Boruto and Dorada interaction. Especially if they want to set up a romantic pairing between the two characters. Then they definitely need to have them hanging out more. But, uh, yeah, because, you know, otherwise, we, we all, I don't want it to be like Naruhina and come, in my opinion, come a little bit out of nowhere. And they're already setting this up well with them being childhood friends. So they're doing a good job with Miss Boruto, Sarada, Botara? I think they call both Botara? What is the, what is the Boruto and Sarada pairing called? I've heard it be called Borutara, which is much harder to say than Naruhaku or Naruhina. Those slow more Borusara that will take the getting used to say. But moving on to the episode, we get to see the hidden myth village. I feel like it would have been a lot better if we actually knew what the original hidden myth was like. But we don't, we know very little about it in terms of a structural standpoint to how the, how the village was structured. What do we know about it? Well, we do know that the village is called the Blood Myth Village a long time ago. It used to be called the Blood Myth Village. It was very bloody. This is the village Zabuza came from. Now it's like a metropolis. It's nicer than the Hidden Leaf Village. It's beautiful. And Owabe brings this up. That the Hidden Myth Village is just a cover-up. The current Hidden Myth time that it is a cover-up of the way they used to be. I like that. Although Owabe was weird this episode. He really was. I mean, a while they were just kind of like chilling in quarters, like, yeah, okay. Like, he's getting really angry. So I'm wondering if something's going on with a Wabe in the hidden myth village. That's what I'm wondering. Maybe, maybe, who knows? We don't know a Wabe's real origin. We don't know like, how he ended up in the Leaf village, if he was born there. We don't know. But, um, what else happened? Um, this was probably the first episode I noticed the groups as much as I did, and I've always found Dorada hanging out with that group of girls very strange. And Dorada doesn't seem like she gets along with Chocho, but I don't think you would get along with those two girls. With the girls she's always seeing with. I don't think she, I, I'd be like, I hope we can see more of their interaction. I don't see why Dorada's hanging out with them. Like, Dorada wants to be Okage, and she's hanging out with a couple, a couple of girls that meet a guy, and they get, like, all love struck by him, and I'm like, and these are the people you're hanging out with. And you're going to be Okage and you should be hanging out with people you can train with and use to better yourself. Like, come on, Toronto. Make friends that will help you in your goal. Not friends that will slow you down. But so they get to the and myth, they meet the, they meet the guy, Kagura. He looked really weird. Alright, purple eyes and fish things. Those are, he's a weirdo. Like, he comments, Naruto, Boruto, and Naruto. Son, I have a headache. And that's the reason I'm a little in right now, but, um... He comments that Boruto and Naruto are done, and he's like, oh, you're Naruto and Stun. Um, Boruto are like, yeah, it doesn't matter. You do have a great, this really funny thing where all the girls are like, she's so hot, she's so cool, blah, blah, blah. He's so different from all the boys in our class. And one of my favorite things about this, though, is how you just have Sarada, Sarada, who is kind of there, like, eh, whatever. Like, yeah, I love that. Like, 
I love that, but that just reinforces Sakura's daughter is nothing like her. Like, Gerada wants to be Okage, and bar maybe Boruto, she has no interest. She could care less. And by the way, where are they going to start setting up that crush on Boruto? Like, I'm really hoping, I'm really worried when they transition to the movie, the crush on Boruto is just going to pop up. I like, know, you're going to get Gerada crush on Boruto, make it make sense. But they haven't happened in Zerathmor. Maybe that's what's going to happen this arc. Maybe in this arc we're going to see them. I'm sure I developed some sort of feeling for Boruto. I am not sure. But uh, what else are we talking about? Oh, it was a great scene where these two guys attacked the Boruto. Boruto bumped into this guy. And Awabe was like, and he said sorry. And Awabe was like, no. Um, Boruto, he bumped into you. He should be sorry. And the guy was just like, no, I shouldn't. And he went to attack Boruto. They fought. It was really cool. And you, you definitely got a Blood Mist Village kind of vibe for them. I'm wondering if there's some sort of conspiracy going on. Like, they had the, the foundation for a really good arc is there right now. The problem is that Boruto can't develop in skill or character because of the Boruto movie. Unless they want to change the Boruto movie slightly. I'm not sure. But there isn't much else to really say. It was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I'm hoping we get like a little bit of the dark arc in the dark. I'm hoping some stuff starts to happen. I'm not even sure if it's going to be a story arc or a series of episodes that kind of connect in Man and Myth Village. I hope it's like an arc like Gaiden where each episode starts to take off from right where the previous one ended. I'm hoping it's like that. Um, I'm very excited to see where this goes. I'm hoping we can see the start of the Boruto and Serato relationship in this. Because where the hell is that? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a, I know this is a shorter review than normal for my Boruto stuff. But you gotta understand, I have a headache. And this is making it worse. But I just wanted to get this out. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation. Signing out. Have a nice day, guys.